Hello everybody and welcome to Suburban Dad's Wilderness Survival. Today we're going to make a compass using a stick and a rock. Let's get to it. What we do, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. Ring that bell for notifications every time we upload a new video. Let's get to it. Alright, the first thing we're going to do, put a stick in the ground. Get enough sunlight. Cast a little shadow. Comes to a nice point there. I'll take a rock. This one has a nice little point on it. Place it. So the point of that rock lines up with the tip of the shadow of that stick is cast. Now we wait. Alright, now we can see that our shadow has moved. Go ahead and mark the tip of that shadow again. Using a pointy rock again. This is east. The first mark I laid down. That one's west. Now, I'm going to show you that. You can draw a line between these two points. And that gives us a roughly east-west line. Extend that just a little bit. Just extend that line out. I'll go ahead and mark it with this. So that gives us an east-west line. I'll show that. Now the first mark is west. The second mark is east. If you wait long for this shadow to go a longer distance, put your left foot on the first mark. Your right foot on the second mark and you are facing north. Now just to demonstrate this, I'm going to go ahead and lay my compass here. I'm going to put it along that line. If I don't move it. As you can see, we're not a hundred percent. It's off slightly. If I adjusted my bezel ring to match that line. We're off by a few degrees. That's okay. This works anywhere in the world. If we want to be more accurate, take a piece of string, come out to where your shadow first hits, and draw a circle. And you have to do that one across midday. Make your first shadow mark in the morning, about at least an hour before midday. Then wait until that shadow reaches, comes around, and touches the line, and touches your circle again somewhere else. At that point, your shadows are exact length, and we're going to be pretty close on the nuts with that. That's called manipulating the shadow. But this will get you pointed mostly north. It'll get you north, northwest, north, northeast, depending upon how accurate you, you've set it up, how long you've waited for your shadow, number of factors. But that's going to get you a north heading, mostly north heading. It'll help prevent lateral drift and keep you moving along your way. It's a simple method that we can use. 
at any point in time, anywhere around the world, as long as we have enough sunlight to cast a shadow. There you have it, a, a compass with a stick and a couple of rocks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. We'll catch you later.